Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run standard deviation for uh, daily fantasy scores and also explain what standard deviation is. So uh, before we get into this video, what I, um, be sure to s click the uh, thumbs up if you like the video, if you want to see more like this, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out all the links below to my uh, video course and to my uh, lineup optimizer tools. So let's get into this video. Um, standard deviation. Standard deviation is a statistical uh, value which, uh, which measures, uh, the qua me measures the amount of variation or like a dispersion of a set of data values. Here is your normal distribution. Like say if you get a normal score of someone who scores say 50 points a game. This will be 50 points right here. Most of the scores are going to show come within this 68% range. So the, some of the scores will be 45, some will be 55, but most of them are going to are going to show up in this range. There's just going to be those some outliers here. And what standard deviation will do is show you um, will give you a number for what this disbursement is. So let's take an example here. Here's some scores from Anthony Davis. It, well, let's ca calculate his average. His average is, I'm going to just highlight the whole number, is 51. To calculate standard deviation, we're going to do STDEV. And there's a couple standard deviations. There's one for P, for population, when you have a full population of data. S for sample, when you, only have, when you don't have a full population, when you just have some records. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other ones, but I'm just going to get into these two. I'm just going to use the whole P for if we have a whole population of data. Um, you can you can test them out, see which one. Uh, depends how much data. I don't know if there's a set number to use, um, but I'm just going to use STD yeah, dot P. So I'm going to highlight this whole not a range, and it comes out to a 10.6. So pretty much, if this was Anthony Davis's chart, right here would be 51. The end point would be plus 10, so this would be 61, and the beginning point would be minus 10, so it would be 41. So pretty much most of his scores should be between 41 and 61. And if you look at them, most of them are. Here's an outlier. Uh, there's a couple. Here's one that's just above it. So that's what a standard deviation is, and that's how, how it will show. You, you can have the exact same person. And say, instead of this score, he got a 1-1 one, one game, and he got a 96 another game. And here, he got a 1 this game, and he got, say, 107 the next game. His average is still about 51. All of a sudden, his standard deviation is 12. So there's a lot more variation in scores. And what that variation, what this, high, this number will tell you, pretty much the higher number means the higher possibility they can have a huge game. But also a good possibility, or a possibility that they could have that they could totally flub and barely score anything. So I guess when you're playing tournaments, you want the high standard deviation guys. If you play, if you want a consistent score like for cash games, you want the low standard deviation. You want the guy who's always going to score 30 points, not 51 game, 10 the next, and so on. So that's how you get standard deviation for one player. What if we have a whole range of players like this? You can't. You can do you can filter by them and take them over one by one. That's a pain in the butt to do it that way. I'm gonna show you a way to do it like as an array since this has many different names in here. We're gonna start doing the same formula, and instead of putting the number, we're gonna make do an if statement in here. And this if statement is what's the logical test? If this range equals this person. So it's going to check for all the Aaron Gordons, and then we're going to look at the DK points. So the CC and the EE, that's the full column, so those have to be the same range. And then we put the end parentheses for the if, then the end parentheses for the standard dot P. We can't just press enter. For an array, you have to press control, shift, and enter. Now if you look at it, see it's got the little squiggly lines? That means it's telling Excel, this is an array, you need to treat it as an array. And what it's going to do, it's going to see it's going to look at all Aaron Gordons and see if we count them down. It's still, it's looking at each one for Aaron Gordon and it's doing the standard deviation of all of this. Now, when we copy it down further, Aaron Holiday is a 10 standard deviation. Well, Aaron Gordon here is a 4.8. And we can check this to be sure, see if we copy this. 
I'm going to press Control C to copy it and paste it over here. Now if I just did standard deviation just on these numbers, and there it is, 4.88. So it's doing, it's looking at this rate, just pulling out the Aaron Gordons, and this will save you a ton of time if you're trying to get a, a function to work, like standard deviation. This will work for a lot of the different functions, the statistical functions. If you set it, treat it as an array, you, you'll be able to do it this way. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Click the thumbs up again. And check out my, uh, my video course at SpreadsheetSchoolDFS.com. The link is down below. There's also a uh, coupon code down below. Uh, and uh, check out my optimizers tools at lineup at optimizelineups.com. I also starting to get some simulation uh, spreadsheet tools out there. So uh, check them out on there and let me know if you got any questions. So you guys have a great day. Thanks.